G'day, how's it going? Today is Sunday and I have just received this um, Jaguar Leaper that I got offline and um, I'm going to uh, help my father or my father's going to help me, I'm not sure which way around it is but um, I just got this uh, Jag XF here and uh, we're going to drill a hole in the bonnet basically Yeah I think he's going to enjoy this far too much. Now, I think, um, first of all, we need to make sure that we, well, figure out exactly where we need to drill it, um, and then get some masking tape down there and center it and line it up straight. Because I think the last thing we're going to want is a jag that's monkey off center. Right, needs to go somewhere around about here so we're going to need to take that liner off first thing we're going to do is get all these clips off under here and I've just been figuring out that the easiest way to do that is to get a screwdriver under one side and your fingernails under the other side and then you just um, pull them together like that and then it should just pop out but they're really tight There you go. Okay, next bit is we've got a whole heap of these little screw rivets in here. I'll just go around quickly and get those out as well. Okay, these are uh, screw-in style pop rivets. Um, they've got a, uh, a thread on the back of them here. And uh, when you screw these ones in, what happens is it spreads this open. But in a lot of these, it's split one side, so the screw's not pulling, uh, the screw's not really easily to pull out. So what you've got to do if you've got one of those, is when you come up to unscrew it, you need to put the screwdriver on a little bit of an angle. That way the, uh, the thread inside it can find something to grip on to pull out. And there we go. And then it will unscrew and come out. Just a quick tip, good one. Uh, we measured where the front of the bonnet in the middle, where the cat needs to go and up at the back there so we were able to run a straight line the whole way down to make sure that that is perfectly flat we got the centers of the holes that match the leaper here so it's going to sit here and the reason for that particular position is that there's this nice cavity here built just for where the leapers to go and uh, for all you people out there who are saying that the leaper should not be on an XF um, just wanted to let you know that JAG actually supply the Leaper for the XF and the installation instructions on their website so um, all the purists can go and bite me, I want it on there, it's going on. Just hope I don't fuck up the bonnet. We're just having a little bit of chat about exactly where to put this, so we've measured up currently so that that would fit here. Um, so the Leaper would be about here on the bonnet, if you can see that, so it's about there. And we're just wondering whether it might look forward. We can come forward about two inches, and um, I'm I'm quite liking it forward a couple more inches. It just sort of feels a little bit more jaggy if it's more prominent towards the front of the the bonnet. So um, yeah, the question is, does it go here, or does it come here? It's, it's only a little amount, but I think it makes quite a big aesthetic difference. Um, yeah, leave something in the comments below telling me what you prefer. Um, of course, it's going to be too bloody late because I've already finished it by the time you've watched this. Um, yeah, interesting to see what people's opinions are still. So yeah, leave lots of comments. Um, also, 
don't forget to click on that subscribe and like and share this video out with everybody you know he's got a jag especially Jeremy Clarkson if anyone knows him actually I was just looking right down the front of the grill for this thing too and I think that down here under the number plate just down here I'm gonna have to put a GoPro mount because that's a perfect bloody spot for a GoPro mount just under the number plate there eh? that'd be cool Okie doke. I'll go and see where I can find a washer. So Dad's going to go and make a washer to go on the underside. Um, and I'm going to find something to put underneath the bonnet so that I don't get anything in the engine while I'm drilling it. And I'm going to drill a hole in my XF Jag bonnet. Two, in fact. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do before I drill the hole is um, put down some masking tape. Now the reason for the masking tape is that it just puts a slight amount of tension on the paint on the bonnet and um, makes sure that the this clear coat on top doesn't crack out. The other reason for it is it stops the drill bit from sliding around accidentally and scratching up bits of the paint that you don't want scratched up. So I'll put that there, and another bit there. Those I've put just on the markup lines. And then I'm going to bring another bit down the centre line. Dead on it. And again the other way. And when my mum sees this video afterwards, she's going to realise I stole her masking tape. But by then, it'll be too late. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm here with my drill, and uh, I've had my dad remeasure everything, and um, I've remeasured everything, and um, everything's been measured and remeasured. And then we had to think about it and um, move things around to see if we wanted to change our minds or not. And uh, then we remeasured everything just for um, well, because we could, and now we're happy. Oh, then my mum turned up as well and we got her to have a look and she uh, made the same decision we did about placement, so I'm going to drill a hole in my car. Now I'm going to drill another hole in my car. There you go, I just drilled two holes in my car. Okay, now that I've got the pilot holes in them, I've put a uh, larger drill bit in, which is um, most of the size I need for the um, front screw on the leaper. Um, I'm just going to use that now to wipe the hole out of it. I'm just going to put the camera down over here on the fence and do this with two hands. Right, so now I've got a hole that size. That still needs to be that size. So um, I'm going to use a hole saw which goes into here just to slowly widen it out and keep it even um, these are really good if you don't have a really wide drill bit which can be bloody expensive for something you're only going to use once or twice right how's that going oh really really close if you do get some hole saws um, just remember when you're using them have a look at which way your drill spins, which will be that way, and you want to go around the hole in the opposite direction, not with it as well. Okay. Perfect. Next bit is I've got the leaper here and I've got the uh, sticky pad which goes under here. I've taken one side off it and I'm just slotting it down over the uh, holes here. What this does is 
it's partly adhesive to stop it from moving around. Um, it's also here to stop it from rubbing on the paint and um, will prevent moisture from building up by creating a good seal as well. So that can just go on there. It's just a standard 3M uh, contact sticky pad, uh, which apparently sticks to anything except the interior of a Lexus. We'll go into that in another video. All right, there we go, and I'll just pull the adhesive off that side of it, and uh, it's not sticking at all to the chrome. Um, yeah, 3M, you really need to get your shit together on these things, man. Right, and now I'll just stick this down to the hood of the car. Now, the uh, last bit to do here, just as it's starting to rain, so just as well I got this done when I did, is to get the boot up real quick and um, screw that on. I told you the rain was going to come soon. There it is, right there. Oh, that fits perfect. Spot on. And uh, the leap is on the hood of the van, and my back's getting wet. So, um, We'll go out in the rain and uh, with another camera shortly and get some really awesome cinematic shots of it on the road. See you later.